हेलो दोस्तों नमस्कार आई एम जेके वी आर लर्निंग कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम डॉक्टर के मोहन सर डॉक्टर के मोहन सर वाज फॉर्मर डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ एनसीसीवीएम ही ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन अबाउट कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कंक्रीट नाउ टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर के मोहन सर टू टेल एस अबाउट द फ्रैक्चुरल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कंक्रीट एंड व्हाट इज द टेस्टिंग प्रोसीजर टू चेक द फ्रैक्चुरल स्ट्रेंथ Flexural strength of concrete is the ability of an unreinforced beam or slab to resist failure in bending. That is bending moment. Flexural strength is one measure of the tensile strength of concrete. The ideal method for determination of the tensile strength of concrete is the flexural strength test. The flexural strength is expressed as modulus of flexure. rupture mr in mega pascal mpa failure of this specimen occurs in bending when the tensile strength at the bottom of the beam exceeds the tensile capacity of the concrete which is called the modulus of rupture that is extreme fiber stress in bending the stress can be calculated as modulus of rupture is equal to mc divided by i Where m is is bending moment causing failure, c is equal to distance from neutral axis, and i is equal to moment of inertia of the cross section. The system of loading used in finding out the flexural strength are center point or third point. That is two points, two equal distance points from the end loading. in the third in the center point loading maximum fiber stress will come below the point of loading where the bending moment is maximum in the third point loading critical crack may appear uh, may appear at any section not strong enough to resist the stress within the middle third where the bending moment is maximum the mr determined by third point loading is lower than the mr determined by center point loading sometime by as much as 15% now in the uh, video uh, figure that has been shown figure shows center point top and third point bottom loading arrangement mod modulus of rupture that is mr is determined by testing standard test specimen of 150 mm Into 150 mm into 700 mm over a span length of 600 meter or 100 mm into 100 mm into 500 mm over a span of 500 millimeter. If the largest nominal size of the aggregate does not exceed 20 mm under two point load. IS 516 2002 is with size two point loading fractal strain test is extremely sensitive to the size of the specimen casting curing manner of loading rate of loading etc fractal strain is about 12 to 20% of compressive strain depending on the type size and volume of coarse aggregate However, the best correlation for a specific material is obtained by laboratory tests for given materials and mixed design. Now I will discuss relationship between compressive strength and flexural strength. Generally, as the compressive strength increases, the flexural strength also increases, but at a slower rate. Thus, the ratio of flexural strength, that is FCR. to compressive strength that is fck keeps decreasing with time other factors that might positively influence this ratio are the presence of crust aggregate the primary attributes of crust aggregates that are of importance are the interlock and the better quality of paste aggregate bond then grading of fine aggregate this affects the level of compaction of the mix A well compacted mix mix will be able to withstand tensile oblique bending forces better. 
a number of relationship have been suggested between compressive and flexural strength of concrete most of these are of the form fcr is equal to k times fck to the power n where n varies between 0.5 and 0.75 as per is 456 the flexural strength is calculated as fcr is equal to 0.7 under root fck where fck is characteristic compressive strength now determination of flexural strength of concrete procedure as per is 5162 test specimen shall be prepared by filling the concrete into the beam mold in three layers of approximately equal thickness each layer shall be damped 35 times using the damping bar Damping bars shall be distributed uniformly over the entire cross section of the beam mold and throughout the depth of each layer. The bearing surfaces of the supporting and loading roller shall be cleaned, and any loose sand or other material shall be removed from the surfaces of the specimen where they are to make contact with the roller. Circular circular rollers manufactured out of steel have a having cross section with diameter 38 mm will be used for providing support and loading points to the specimen the length of the roller shall be at least 10 mm more than the width of the test specimen a total of four rollers shall be used three out of which shall be capable of rotating along their own axis the distance between the outer roller that is span shall be 3d and the distance between the inner roller shall be d the inner roller shall be equally spaced between the outer rollers such that the entire system is systematic the specimens are stored in water at a temperature of 24 degree to 30 degree centigrade for 48 hours before testing the specimens shall be tested immediately on removal from water while they are still wet the specimens shall be placed in the machine in such a manner that the load is applied to the up, uppermost surface as cast in the mold along two lines spaced 20 or 13.3 cm apart the axis of the specimen is carefully aligned with the axis of the loading device no packing is used between the bearing surfaces of the specimen and the rollers the load shall be applied at a rate of loading of 400 kg per minute for the 150 mm specimen and at a rate of 180 kg per minute for the 100 mm specimen the load is increased until the specimen fails and the maximum load applied to the specimen during the test is recorded now calculation the flexural strength or modulus of rupture fb is given by fb is equal to p into l divided by p into d square where a is greater than 20 cm for 150 mm specimen or greater than 13.3 cm for 100 mm or if b is equal to 3 p into a divided by p into d square where a is less than 20 cm but more than 17 cm for 150 mm specimen or less than 13.3 cm but more than 11 cm for 100 mm specimen where a is equal to the distance between the line of fracture and the nearer support measured on the center line of the tensile side of this specimen b is equal to measure width of this specimen in cm d is equal to measure depth of this specimen at the point of cm L is length of the span on which the specimen was supported in centimeter. P is maximum load applied to the specimen in kg. If A is less than 17 centimeter for 150 mm specimen or less than 11 centimeter for 100 mm specimen, the results of the test can be the uh, test be discarded. दोस्तों अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो लाइक और शेयर जरूर कीजिएगा जैसे कि जो इच्छुक इंजीनियर्स हैं एक्सपीरियंस पीपल हैं वो कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में सीख सकें
अगर हमारे चैनल पे अगर आप नए हैं तो सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें बेल आइकन को जरूर हिट कीजिएगा जिससे आपको लेटेस्ट अपडेट नोटिफिकेशन मिलता रहेगा हमारा मोटिवेशन बढ़ता रहेगा वीडियो देखने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद